Granda and his twins crept along the street to the shop. The street felt much so hard for her socks. They sat on a bench in the shop, and Lucy had her chin on her hand. Luke held his cheek, and Granda held his chest. Can I help? Yes, it's not much, we just need boots. Boots for Lucy, for Luke, and for me. Red boots please. Green boots please. Black boots for me. I'll check the boots. The shop man went back of the shop. Grandig and his twins sat on the bench until Lucy saw the shop with three sets of boots. I'm sorry, but I have no red and no black boots. Yep, just green boots. That said, green boots are not the thing for me. That said, said Lucy, and she began to thump on the bench. Then she got up and ran away from the shop. Stop! Rush off and get her back! But Luke didn't stop to think, none to his boots, and he ran away from the shop within socks. He came from the shop into the street, and Luke gave his foot a thump on the pram. He gave his foot a shake and ran. Luke didn't blame Lucy. It wasn't good for them to have the green boots. He ran on, until he came back to the yard. Lucy stood on plank from the police girl. Take my boots, please. She said, with a sad face on her face. The police girl began to shake the boots. But the police girl didn't smile on his face, and he began to wipe his hands. He gave a smile to Lucy and said, You must be hide from their boots. It must be not like it. Now take the boots, Lucy, and wipe it off, if you can. They look like black shoes to me, not red. The police girl sent the twins back to the shop. Granda rose from the bench, as they went. He had green boots on his feet. I hope, Luke, that you will have green boots. Oh yes, said Luke, and his toe began to rub. Lucy looked at her boots and said, my red boots are black. I'll go home and get the mud off. I hope you get the mud off, but I think we'll be hard. We'll close at six if you do need to get the green boots. He said. He gave Grandig his bill, and gave him two notes. They left the shop, and drove home in the van.